Severe weather for the northern plains and central plains, and that includes tornadoes, hail, wind, and also flash flooding. Good morning, I'm Yura Aljaspu. Today is September 14, 2025. Today we have a lot going on. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk or a 2 out of 5 in two different places in the northern plains and the central plains. Now, stretching from the northern plains to the central plains, we have a 2% risk for an isolated tornado, but also a 5% chance specifically in North Dakota, South Dakota. And throughout the marginal risk going from North Dakota to Texas, we have a 5% chance to see winds greater than 60 miles per hour and a 15% chance to see large hail, but specifically specifically in the central plains. So time frames of when this is all going to happen, places like North Dakota, South Dakota, you guys are already seeing remnants of showers from last night and that's going to continue on this morning, afternoon and pretty much all day and into tomorrow. But for Northern South Dakota and North Dakota specifically, we're going to see intensifications of storms around 2 to 3 p.m. Central Time. And for some of these areas in the next 24 hours, the total amount of rainfall could go upwards of 3 inches or greater. Now for the central plains, it looks like things are going to start intensifying around 4 to 5 p.m. central time. And models are in agreement that the border of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas will have rainfall totals up to maybe 2 inches or greater. I do want to do a quick shout out to the northwest, specifically Washington State, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana, that you guys may be seeing some showers and possibly a thunderstorm or two. These are going to be scattered and they're going to be coming throughout the afternoon and evening and you guys may be seeing up to 1 inches or greater of rain. I do also wanted to do a shout out in the Atlantic too that there has been a tropical disturbance that's been trying to view. And there's a 10% chance of something forming in the next 48 hours and a 70% chance of something forming in the next seven days. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Okay now back inland and talking about why things are happening we have to look at 500 millibars or midway through the troposphere and we actually have two negatively tilted troughs. And just like how we talked about in the last video negative tilted troughs are very significant because they're going to bring four things for us. One they're generally associated with pretty good shear which is going to tilt those updrafts, prolong the storms. Two it's going to add vorticity or a lot of a spin for those updrafts and that's going to promote more upward motion. Three, it's going to bring cold air aloft, which is going to help those rising air pulses rise even faster. And four, at the surface, it generally means a matured low pressure system. Now, I did mention that there is a second negative utility trough, specifically in the northwest. And the reason why we're not seeing much severe weather over there is because it's one, cooler, but also a little bit drier. But we're having a lot of mid-level moisture being evacuated into that area, and that's why we're seeing lots of showers. So in contrast, in the plains, if we look at the surface, we still have that highway of moisture that's being evacuated into all these areas. So for example, we have a high pressure still in the south and we have these low pressures in both the plains and high pressures are clockwise flow, low pressure to counterclockwise flow. And so we have moisture going all the way from the Gulf into Texas and then into both plains. And these low pressure systems were formed yesterday and they produced a lot of rain and cloud cover. And that's still persisting this morning, which is bringing in a lot of cool air into these areas. And because we're having a lot of warm, moist air being advected into these areas, it's gonna reinforce that cold frontal boundary. And with the cold front going through, that's gonna provide a lot of surface lift to produce these thunderstorms. And on top of this, if we go a little bit above the surface at 850 millibars, we have a really strong low level jet. And that's going to help with the surface updrafts, but also evict more moisture into these areas. And that's why you have